apparently, transgender individuals that were biologically born male are allowed to now compete in female biological competitions, so on and so forth. And so, of course, this brings me to the topic of cage fighting. As someone who has been in the cage fighting scene, in the martial arts scene, sports competition, combat competition, in general, an actual competition, so on and so forth, I know a thing or two about the male biology, about the difference between a female fighter and a male fighter. I know a thing or two about cage fighting, and martial arts too. Well, we're at it. So, let's get on to this very uncontroversial topic that's been apparently made controversial because of this whole new movement where we have to accept everything and everyone, otherwise you get canceled. Unless, of course, you agree with that to which isn't being accepted, then of course, don't cancel it. Anyway, the topic is transgendered individuals competing in the opposite sex, opposite genders sporting events. This means a biological male may, by all intents and purposes, compete in a biologically only female competition because they are transgender. You could be completely male by all accounts, born biologically male. But if you're transgender, that means you have free pass to enter any female competition that there is. So as I said earlier, as being someone that has not only been a competitor, but still involved within the fighting scene, including training and instruction of people still to this day, to the populace that aspires to become a fighter, moreover, into the cage fighting. And being that I know all the politics that go on behind the scenes, as well for the most part, sponsors, contracts, legalities, what have you, this is unquestionably a problem that I saw occurring before it was even a thing. Yeah, that's the sad part, is I saw this coming. I realized that if there was a female or a female division, for any distinct sport that there would be those that could loophole themselves into it, even though biologically being born as a male. After the whole target bathroom conflict happened, I mean, they were able to go into the bathrooms and other locations that are designated for a singular gender and that being female. And biologically born males that identify or were trans or whatever, can go in there willy-nilly. It was one of those things as, yep, next they're gonna go find their way into the opposite gender sports division next. And what you know it, I was right. I called it well before it became a thing. As such, cowards, oh yes, cowards, will always find a cheap ways to find easy wins, even if it means becoming the opposite gender in fighting in their own division, as they're not good enough to fight in their biologically given division along with whatever else mental that is wrong with them for with their thinking that this is okay to begin with. That out of the way, it's been shown time and time again, no matter how badass the female or skilled the female competitor, the male nine times out of ten will come out to conquer. Myself, for an example, just a simple Brazilian jiu-jitsu duel, for fun, challenged by a female competitor who, at the time, had years and years of experience on me. And, meaning she had training longer, she had been in consider considerably more time spent in competitions, and so on, in her biologically given division. And so this would usually mean a disadvantage for someone lesser, of lesser time. Well, it didn't really factor in. She lost un within under five minutes to me. Well, yes, her skill did come into play, and, and that is what enabled her to last as long as she did. Ultimately, my biological advantages came into play, and she lost. And she accepts that, and she knows that. It's all good. As much as I frequently say and adhere to the maxim of skill is superior to 
muscle, muscular size and strength. And as true as that is, this generally is considered towards a trained individual who is smaller versus a bigger untrained individual. When it comes to someone who is just as trained or more so, then it's a whole other story, usually. Ah oh, yes, the muscle and the strength and so on does matter. She was truly a great competitor. I will ha I will never have a full-on cage fight against a female to prove this point though, because of literally the reason displayed in the beginning of this video, the photo that I showed in the beginning of the video. I am not for woman beating, unless I absolutely have to. If I have to defend myself or what have you. So it goes against my morals and so on to even consider having a cage fight with a female, regardless of experience and so on. It is incredibly dangerous for precisely the photo shown in the beginning of this video, regardless of identification thereof, to have any sort of combat competition against a biologically born female, much less in any other sport. There's a clear as day advantage when it comes to trained, skilled, and unskilled trained, unskilled determinant when the, those determinants are no longer a factor. Strength, power, agility, adrenalized versus an estrogenic competitor is scary to ponder for the exact reason displayed. I am shocked that there hasn't already been a death from this. Since there are numerous new class, divisions, weights, and so on and so forth, brought on since the good old days where there are very limited what have you's, there would there should be absolutely no problem or issue creating yet a newer one called the transgender division with their own weight classes and so on. As it would literally fix this issue and of course scare away the cowards from actually getting into it as it would uh be on a more equal and fair grounds of competition. Yeah. Go figure. The feministic gynocentric idea that females are in any way on the equal level to males in competition is, as it said, leftist extremism, or as I call it, spoiled gynocentric feministic idealism, spoiled females, thinking spoiled thoughts. The more we give in to gynocentrism and feminism, the more they will demand. There will never be a point of being good enough. The victimization ideology that they thrive off of, having them believe that they're always the victim, especially if they don't get their way, is toxic and ruins everything, and has ruined so much already. So yet again, I am not all too shocked by what is currently going on, and the vehement defense of this, as if it's actually okay. What is okay is to be open-minded to things. What isn't okay, though, is that they've become so open-minded that their brains f have fallen out of their fucking heads. Thus, what we have today. And thus, this topic is even a thing to begin with, when it should not be at all. And then, of course, you know, I, I'm reading off of my own Facebook post here and making it into a video format for YouTube. Uh, but before I made my post, I was reading through some of the comment threads that was on the original post uh, before I made my own. You know, that was under this picture. And I can tell that there have been a few threads where an individual not at all familiar with how things work when it comes to cage fighting, pre-fight and post-fight, has been arguing in the defense of this in favor of trans people, of course. Because the ignorant, I don't know why, and the false intellectuals, that's how idiots always are. They're the, always the most confident, they're always the most arrogant, they're always the ones that think they know everything. So of course they're going to be the ones to be in favor of this. Mm. Anyway, um, in favor of trans folk fighting against biological females and vice versa. And it shows their lack of knowledge, greatly. The fact that Having to go on to explain the many other factors beyond weight more or less gives it away. I will take some quotes from some of the things that uh, other people have stated and then kind of re-emphasize it and add on to it if need. Quote, I believe sports are about honest competition. This requires evenly balanced competitors. Otherwise, it's just slaughter. My emphasis on this and reply is, yes, sports should be about honest competition. Yes! This requires evenly balanced competitors. 
Otherwise, yes! It is damn near fucking literally slaughter. As shown in the photo where homegirl got her fucking skull broken open. Next, quote, Weight classes do not compensate for having a biological advantage, end quote. This, 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 this! Yes, yes, yes! Nothing but straight up facts. Brought to you by reality. Alright, on to the next. Quote, it's weird to see people calling themselves feminists basically ruining equal opportunity in sports for women, unquote. The irony is great, isn't it? Females in particular, feminists, are ruining it for their own gender. Go figure. One of those times where you take some time to really and wonder how mental one has to be to actually do that to themselves. A funny but yet effective way that I read it, or read one of the responses rather, was men, quote, men in women's division is, is like Goku in Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct fighting in full out, full force, all out against a baby ant. That really sums it up, too. And for those that aren't into Dragon Ball Z or anything of that nature, I will reword that for you. It is the equivalent of an elephant versing a baby ant. Anyways, that really sums it up, though. To be unfair is to be fair in current day culture, apparently. To be fair is to be discriminatory as well, to go with that. I just sigh loudly more and more every day. So I guess what I'm saying here from all my experience, all my knowledge from the human you know body, human anatomy, human biology, science, common sense, logic, intellectualism is that biologically born males pretending to be females or being transgender females or whatever should not be allowed female competition. That is wrong. All science, all logic, all everything points to how wrong this is and how unfair it is to biologically born females. And again, this is coming from someone who is oftentimes bashing on the idiocy of females, but yet in this one, I'm defending them. I'm standing up for females because I'm not one-sided thinking. I'm not a woman hater. I'm not gender biased. When something is wrong, something is wrong. And I just call it out, regardless. So anyway, I'm gonna put in a link, which I did on my post as well, to add to this from the New York Times, published in 2008, before this became a whole epidemic of men, women, and speed. Two words, got testosterone, and if you read that, you'll get it. You should get it, at least. So, yeah, basically, you're screwing yourself as a female if you're actually accepting this. And men who are accepting this are just straight up cowards or straight up retarded if you actually go with this. Or alternatively, you're into the LGBTQ things and you just want to take over everything and force that lifestyle down everyone's throats regardless of what it does to the fairness of competition. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything ag against gay people, against uh, transvestites or trannies or whatever you, you know, you want to call yourself. Um, if you're a transgendered individual, I don't care, you live your own life. But when you start fucking with things like this, that's when it becomes a problem, because you are literally being like those people that you hate the most, those Christians that are always trying to force their lifestyle onto yours, trying to ungay you and so on, now you're doing it to fair sports competitions. You're doing it to female competitions. You're saying you have to live my lifestyle. You have to accept my lifestyle. And because this is my, this is how I think, this is how I operate, that you have to accept it and you have to deal with it and you have to let me uh, compete in female uh, competition and, and go against and fight female competitors because I identify as one. That is so 
fucked. You are literally forcing it onto society in, in all these sports, you know, facilities. You're just as bad as those fucking Christians with their anti-gay signs. You are literally doing worse than them because you are actually taking action. You're not just out there holding signs. You're not out there doing hate speeches. You're not, you know, just doing that. You're not just speaking out. You're not just speaking words. You're not just protesting. You are actually going in and doing this. You are actually competing in biologically born female divisions. You are worse than those Christians. Not good. Not good at all. Oh my God. Not good. Have a little bit of self-respect. Some dignity. Please. And have some sanctity for the gendered divisions that are rightly in place. Until next time.